save our planet. Colder winters in Northern Hemisphere due to warming Arctic. As the Arctic region is known to be increasing in temperature at twice the rate of the rest of the planet, differences in air pressure at the North Pole are disrupting planetary air currents, causing wind pattern changes. According to Dr. James Overland of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's, or NOAA, Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory, these shifting winds caused the exceptionally cold and snowy winters of 2009 and 2010, as seen across large regions of the globe. Dr. Overland presented his findings at the recent International Polar Year Conference in Oslo, Norway. You tend to think of a global warming signal being uh, warming everywhere, but it's more complex than that. Actually, the Arctic is uh, warming and uh, uh, the heat that's stored from the summer in the ocean is given back to the atmosphere in the fall and it forms a dome of high pressure and warm temperatures over the Arctic. Dr. Overland explained that the difference between the high and low air pressure systems in the north and further south effectively pulls the relatively frigid northern Arctic air down to the warmer mid-latitudes of Scandinavia, eastern North America, and eastern Eurasia. This effect also stops the south-to-north movement of warmer air. So with the warming you have more winds coming out of the north, but but they're bringing relatively colder air from the north into the south. So that's, that's why you have the, the cold temperatures. And it also is blocking a lot of the normal warm storms that occur further south and come into uh, Europe. And so we end up having the colder and snowier weather that occurred last December and last uh, January are linked to the large changes that we're seeing in the Arctic now. As continued warming of the Arctic's atmosphere and oceans brings further irreversible decline of the Arctic sea ice and diminished cooling reflection of the sun's heat, Dr. Overland warned that this destabilized Arctic climate system will lead to more extreme winter weather. We thank Dr. Overland for helping us understand how global warming is linked to severe seasonal cold in parts of the Northern Hemisphere. May such findings prompt us to quickly adopt solutions that rebalance our treasured planetary home. During an August 2009 video conference in Thailand, Supreme Master Ching Hai expressed her ever-present concern for humans' vulnerability to these increasingly severe conditions as she urged for their effective countermeasure. What's more, we have more reports of unending drought, freezing weather, storms. These are truly almost always the consequences of humans' violent actions. The number one action is meat-eating, so we are Grateful we have a few more days to help more of our fellow world citizens to change to the benevolent diet to save our planet. But, you know, these days are still numbered. We can't prolong forever. We can stop the disasters, make them go away for good, forever. Make all the unfavorable situations, threatening weather to go away if all of us switch to the organic vegan diet.